The magician begins by presenting two ordinary pieces of paper, each holding the potential for an extraordinary transformation. With a twinkle in their eye and a touch of theatrical flair, they invite everyone to witness the power of magic firsthand. Hello everyone. Tonight, I want to show you something with this comic that I've created around all the fun that I've had at BGT. As the magician recites their incantations and enchanting words fill the air, the atmosphere becomes it's charged with anticipation. Look closely and remember something on any page so that when the magic happens, you'll know it's the same comic. Suddenly, with a dramatic gesture, the magician tears the paper into pieces, seemingly shattering any hope of restoration. But the magic is far from over. With a mischievous now, smile, the magician turns to one of ago, the judges and requests them to utter word, a secret, and that magic word. Was dog. D stands for don't give up on your dreams. O stands for only you can create your story. And G. Suspense fills the air as the judge contemplates their choice, fully unaware of the incredible feat about to unfold. As the magic word leaves the judge's lips, an extraordinary stands transformation for takes place. Now, this comic is completely destroyed. In a jaw-dropping moment, the torn paper pieces seamlessly come back together as if time had reversed itself. The paper stands before everyone's eyes, Simon, completely restored, without a single mark or scratch to indicate its earlier destruction. Song. Can you please say your magic word again? A new one. No, the um, same one. My old one, dog. The magician begins by selecting a judge from the audience and introducing a deck of cards. The judge is asked to choose a card freely from the deck. They can examine and show the chosen card to everyone present. Please touch the back of any one card. Please look at it and show everyone. I'll look away. This step is crucial to establish that the card selection is genuinely random. After the judge has selected and shown the card to everyone, they place it back into the deck. Oh, I might give it that away. Look into my eyes. Sorry. What's your card? The Tree of Diamonds. Yes. You had a free choice of any cards. Believe it or not, I knew you would pick the Tree of Diamonds before the show even started. The magician ensures that the judge's card is genuinely returned and lost within the rest of the deck. This step reinforces the idea that the magician cannot know the card's position. This card has been here the entire time. Look, the Tree of Diamonds. <laughs> Simon, your chosen card, the Tree of Diamonds, has completely vanished. The magician proceeds to shuffle the deck, further mixing the cards to create the illusion that the chosen card could be anywhere in the deck. The shuffling is From often done with various techniques like riffle shuffling or overhand shuffling. So Simon, both your chosen card, the Tree of Diamonds, and your signed hanky have vanished. 
the magician then invites a random audience member to join them on stage. This person is asked to check their own back pocket or any other location specified by the magician. To the astonishment of the audience and the spectator on stage, the chosen card is found in the Reach audience member's back, back pocket. pocket. Take her what's inside, no show way. everyone. No way. No way. Oh. This revelation creates a sense of mystery and wonder as it appears that the chosen card has traveled from the deck to the spectator's pocket. So Simon. The magician approaches the judge and hands them a handkerchief, asking them to write anything on it. Tonight, Simon, I'm going to show you some sleight of hand. Okay. How are you? The judge complies and draws a picture of a dog on the handkerchief. The magician then takes the handkerchief from the judge and shows it to the audience, making sure everyone can see the drawing of the dog. Simon. Remember this hanky? Yeah. Remember this hanky? To make it even more unique, I would like you to write any symbol on it. Any? Any symbol. Remember this hanky? Yeah. Remember this hanky? Yeah. How's that? The magician proceeds to close their hand, enclosing the handkerchief within their palm. They perform some sleight of hand or magical gestures to create the illusion of making the handkerchief vanish. Can you please make your way to the center of the stage? Yep. This disappearance is usually accompanied by misdirection or distraction techniques to divert the audience's attention. Confirm that you have no idea what is about to happen to Simon's hanky that he just wrote on. No idea. Watch. Now, the magician invites a member of the audience to come up on stage. They guide the audience member to their shirt pocket and ask them to check it. To everyone's surprise, the vanished handkerchief is found in the pocket of the audience member. And, reach and only thing left is your signed hanky. Please remove the hanky. No way. 